this must be a very exciting time for you, given uh, that the world is in a, a different place, but the film is still being part of all these amazing festivals, including London Film Festival. It's incredibly exciting. Yeah, it's a really quite special moment for, for me and for all of us involved in the film. Um, to be at LFF this year is, you know, a, 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 a total honour um, and to be surrounded by so, so many other filmmakers that I totally adore uh, with some incredibly exciting films and also to be surrounded by people that I don't know, lots of filmmakers that I'm yet to sort of discover um, is like, is totally thrilling. I'm, I'm so excited about it because I think the, the festival itself and the, the programme itself um, is so beautifully broad um uh that yeah i think everyone's thrilled to be in it and excited to be seeing the films yeah yeah absolutely so tell us a little bit about your film because we know we know little bits and everything else but we are we keep ourselves in the dark so we we go in we go in blind but we saw a little bit of the film in the launch uh yeah. so tell us a little bit about it and how how this one came about for you well supernova is uh is a film that follows a middle-aged couple who are living um with a diagnosis of young onset dementia um, so whilst they're still able to travel, they plan a road trip uh, around uh, the north of England to visit friends and family and places uh, from their past along the way. Um, but as the, the journey progresses, uh, secrets are, are revealed um, that challenge their preconcep preconceptions of their future together. Uh, and their love for each other is kind of put to the test like never before. Um, so it's a kind of it's a deeply romantic, um, challenging yet life affirming uh, film about what we're willing to do for the people that we love the most, what we're willing to sacrifice. Um, so it's it's full of big, deep emotions, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> but it came about um, actually because I was, for various reasons, involved in uh, uh, with dementia, uh, had a, a lot of personal experience of it. Um, and I wanted to write, I was so kind of profoundly moved by those experiences, uh, firsthand uh, and or otherwise, um, that I, I really felt it was important to try and write something about it and something within the context of end of life choices too and what we, what we do at the end of our, what we're afforded, uh, what was afforded to us at the end of our lives and how we, how we take care of one another as, um, you know, as a society. Um, so kind of all of those things melded together, really. And from a from a period of really deep immersion and research, um, Supernova kind of a, appeared, appeared through that. And obviously, you've, it's, it's getting some attention in terms of, you know, obviously, you know, the, the, the festival has come with a premature of sometimes, you know, going into award season, which, again, will be very, very different this year than it, it has yeah. been before. Um, but I guess for you as a, as a writer and director, when you write these things and and prepare, I guess it helps when down the road you get Stanley Tucci and, and Colin Firth to be to be part to part of it because we've we saw them in the clip and together I mean mm. they look incredible and sound incredible and the, the relationship even from those brief seconds mm. looks amazing I mean it must be just fantastic when you found out that those were going to be your leads and they were the ones that are going to help you tell the story yeah it was absolutely and like deeply flattering too because you know I mean I sort of I, I am I trained as an actor and I still act uh, on and off and I think what the way I write is that I write for actors, really. And so for those two to come on board and react so warmly and positively to the script was, you know, kind of um, a bit sort of um, jaw dropping, really, in a way, and, and deeply flattering. And as you say, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a really intimate film about two people that are really scrutinised um, in the film. And it, it was deeply important to us that whoever played those characters the, the central relationship was as natural and as deeply felt as it could be. And so Colin and Stanley, you know, I, I mean, they, they bring that and some. I mean, they've been friends for a couple of decades anyway. They are so close as, as people, you know, they, they love each other. And you can really, really see that on screen. You know, they've been through uh, some tough times together on and off screen. And really in, in this film, you know, you, it's... Um, it's incredibly resonant that, yeah, and it was, um, you know, incredible to to be there and witness it firsthand. And it's it's kind of it's magic when it when it when it happens. Yeah, well, listen, good luck with the film. Hopefully, we get to talk to you again soon enough to to, to delve a bit deeper. But uh, for now, good luck and uh, thanks for your time. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, thanks very man. much. Cheers.
ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!